Aha! Ah, there we are. A very good evening to you. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. Show number 54. I couldn't see you all there, and I wondered if we are going to continue in audio. How amazing is that? One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for the whole world. Thank you for joining me tonight. Scotty boy, you're invisible, of course. It's because I'm so small. Good evening, Mr. McClue. Gremlins again. Your webcam's back to front, Scotty. Uh, no see you. Nay light, stinky do, Lord. And the suspense. Here we are. Evening, Scotty. Can you all see me the right way round now? Do let me know. Uh, in 1972, a crack commander unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground today. I don't know what you're on about, Gordon, because it says see more, and I don't want to do that. That's better, mate, says Kevin Pearson. Now, Kevin, you know I'm not a big fan of mate. Hi, Scotty, my wee heart, says Rab Hill, dinky do Rab. James Bauer, hi, Scotty. You're looking sharp, sir. Hi, there we are. Excellent stuff, says Kevin Pearson. Right, I shall miss out the word meat. I shan't bother about that. Now, can you see me nice and brightly? And uh, are we all in order? One hour. One hour of superb, scintillating information, education and entertainment live here on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Excellent stuff. Hey, Scotty says Fiona Summers. Hey, Fiona, dinky-doo. It's the A-team, says Ron Stewart. And uh, the boys on mushrooms, says Alan Beard. So there we are. We don't know who you're referring to, Alan. We just know it's not me. Now, I think we'll start off with a sip of tea. Mm -hmm. How marvellous is that? Excellent stuff. Now, everybody remember 9 p.m. then, says Ben Lucas. Ben, we'll have to see. Hi, Scotty, from East Coast Bride. T-O-A. The taxis, anyone, says James. Taxi, NMD and East Coast Bride, the T-O-A there. Give them a bell. Seen you in the paper. You looked smart, says Kevin Pearson. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Scotty, would you be willing to put a turban on one week, says Johnny M. Linney. Well, there we are. Uh, respect, I say, for all the world's religions. A big shout out to the Greenock Morton team. The Ton, says Peter Gallagher. Dinky do, Peter. I was hoping you'd be on 9 to 11 and extend the magic for an hour, says Ben Fasachali. Ben, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I say. But I think this is rather a good idea because it seemed a lot of people, when they were getting on till 11 o'clock, they were going, Scotty, I'll have to dash. We'll see you later. I've got to be up for work in the morning. All that sort of thing. So I thought, right, let's try 9 o'clock because nothing is cast in stone particularly on the internet we can come and go as we please uh, and uh, who have we got here alan baird a big shout out to aloha football club uh, winning 4-0 at the weekend good for aloha i say i am no stranger to aloha a fine part of the world congratulations to lewis hamilton on winning the f1 title says robert devlin Robert, you're a great sportsman. You really are. Anything to do with sports. And of course, as you know, Scotty is a great athlete. You can tell by my feet. Uh, oh, Scotty, when are you going on Babe Station? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Rab. Uh, dinky do to you, you from the bonniest tune in Scotland, the tail of the bank from Greenock, says Pete Gallagher. Pete, that's excellent. Dinky do to you. Lovely to have you all with us tonight. Excellent stuff. Now, so much to talk about, so little time to do it in, of course. What do you think of the situation in Catalonia? You can uh, tell me about that. Very, very interesting. Uh, so let me know what you think about that. Also, Brexit, I think the way forward for Brexit is cancellation. So there you go. Just give it up. Hello from Longbar, you handsome fellow, says John Brown. Dinky do, John Brown, to you, of course. Uh, Scotty, why are you such a bad re-moaner? I am not a re-moaner at all. Are you a Brexiteer with the T-E-A-R-S tears? A uh, Catawit, says uh, Rab Hill. No, I'm not a bad re-moaner at all, James. I'm just looking at what's best for the country. So it's only common sense. Believe me, if I thought leaving 
was best for the country, I'd be backing that. So there you are. Uh, I think the earlier start time will work fine. Love tuning into your chat and all the contributors to your great and informative show, says Ben Fosakhali. I thank you, Ben. Dinky do to you. Shield, says Ron Stewart. Absolutely. Uh, if all women wear a burqa, then there would be no sexual harassment in the news, says Dino the Doug. Very strange thought, Dino the Doug. Uh, it's the facts, says Michael McGuigan. Yes, you will always get the facts from Scotty McClue. Scotty McClue has no bias. Scotty McClue has no agenda. Scotty McClue is not owned by anyone. So there you are. Uh, good for the Catalonians. I hope they never give up, says Robert Riley Dowd, Senior 2. So there you are. Well, Robert Riley Dowd, Senior 2, we will see what happens. Because obviously Mr. Spain has to decide what's in his toolbox and has to not use too heavy a hand, I would say. Mind the clocks go forward tonight. It was last night, Rab. So there you are. So the clocks have actually gone back. They go back. So you're wrong on two counts. The clocks go back, and they did it last night. We are now on Greenwich Mean Time, which makes Scotty McClure much easier to find across the world. We have stopped banging on about Brexit. You lot in Scotland ain't got a say over it, says Jerry Scholar. Jerry, what you don't know historically right the british government have to go 50 50 with scotland if they are remaining within the letter of the law so we've got a say in everything at least 50 percent of it if not more all right so uh, we can bang on about brexit the only thing is if brexit does happen it's more than likely that that will break up britain and scotland will then move on and then you will not have a say in it all right with, with it, I've slept in then, says Rab Hill. You have indeed, Rab. You are the Rip Van Winkle of the internet. Scotty McClure is the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Can I have more hearts and kisses, please? Uh, Nicola's very quiet on Catalonia, Scotty. Uh, she sent uh, one of her ministers out to say they respect the position. A lovely, lovely diplomatic thing to do, Sandy. So there you are. So I'm sure you'll agree again. Top lady, top position, top quality. Absolutely. Manners, respect, all that stuff, Sandy. Stuff that, sadly, uh, you're old mob. I think you're becoming one of us now, Sandy. So I'm less worried about you. But uh, you're old mob. Oh, so there we are. Tonight's topic, Scotties, is Gary Cross. And Gary, you should have joined us at the start. We are talking about Brexit should equal cancellation, right? It's not too late to rescind Article 50, and we could do that for another year and a few months. Oops, spelling error. Uh, a wee holiday uh, in Kalau uh, for you, Scotty. My treat. So there we are, Kylo. Kylo or Cairo, Robert. There we are. What a lovely thing. Albert Pitty's listening. Dinky do. Robert Devlin says Albert. How fabulous is that? Scotty, what if you put a wee scrolling text bar on your bonnet and sell advertisements? You'd make a mint. Johnny M. Linney, I have actually set up Patreon.com and for $10 a month you can have an advert. We can agree something and if I talk you up, it will be massive. So expect your footfall to go shooting up. Um, I've got a new phone number, Scotty, says Dino the Doug. Good for you, Dino. Keep that to yourself. <coughs> You're getting nothing, says Andrew Fitzgerald. You missed my post on top shelf dusting. Put it in again, Andrew. Uh, so there we are, because sometimes I may miss a post because we've got a lot to talk about and so little time to do it in. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. We're live for one hour every Sunday night from 9 o'clock until 10 o'clock live on Facebook Live. Spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you saying dinky do. Excellent stuff. Is haggis a real animal? Says Jerry Scholar. Yes, indeed, Jerry. I will take you on a haggis hunt when you come to Scotland, but you'll need to keep very, very, very quiet. All right, because oatmeal scares easily. Uh, so there we are. No, Scotty. Uh, the SNP have not got the bottle to do what the silly Catalonians did. Sandy, 
It seems there's an awful lot of so-called silly Catalonians there, actually, because I think uh, a huge, huge, huge percentage of them have voted for independence, and I think the Scots will probably do the same. In fact, perhaps if they hadn't gone and frightened all the pensioners of your mob, hadn't ruined it for every Scots person. I don't know how you actually get to sleep at night because you're supposed to be a Scot, so you should be standing up for Scotland. There you are, Sandy. Uh, now, I know you're deluded, says Jerry. Not at all, Jerry. Absolutely. You just would struggle to keep quiet, to keep it zipped, to shut that. So there we are. Uh, now, Scotty, have you ever been up Loch Vereker? A very nice part of the country, says Paul McCulley. I've been up a few lochs in my time. So there we are. Uh, one of them actually by accident. We caught the wrong one. Uh, so there we are. We went up Loch Ridden when we were meant to go up Loch Striven. Uh, Haggis and Beeps and Tatties. Nom lol, says Robert Riley Dowd Senior too. Absolutely, you are indeed correct. Haggis, Neeps and Tatties. Oh no, we are...